Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y and have a look at the current version of software. As you know, the electric cars of today rely heavily on software and we want to make sure as users that we have the latest and greatest software revisions. Just like your cell phone, when you have a software revision pending, you get a notification, the software is automatically installed, and your phone is upgraded. It's nice to know what revisions, so we can check compatibility with different applications. In the case of the car, I'm hoping that each one of the cars, both the Ford Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y, will have the latest and greatest software so we can enjoy those features in our cars. Let's have a look now in the Mustang Mach-E for our current revision of software. This is the main screen. Once you fire up the car, this is what you get. I will now go to the little car icon up here, which gets me to setup. I have a number of things that I can choose. I believe what we're looking for is over here under settings and down below I have a option here that says system updates so let's have a look okay checking for updates your system is up to date the most recent update including the following refinements and bug fixes this is a routine update where we make minor changes here and there and squash a few bugs. Ongoing updates like this will help ensure that you'll always be driving the best possible version of your Mustang Mach-E. Enjoy! Alright, very cool. I need to find the software revision though because I don't know what date my system has been updated. Maybe over here on this little eye. What's that read? Displays information about the most recent system update. Well, okay, I would believe that to be true since it says system updates. All right, let's look at some of this other stuff. There's uh, update schedules here. All right, allows you to set the date and time when you would like updates to be completed. I'd like them right now. All right, automatic updates are enabled. And if we look at the information about that, automatic system updates automatically downloads the latest software, features, enhancements, and security updates when the vehicle is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Vehicle information needed to perform the update will be sent to Ford Motor Company and data charges may apply. See your owner's manual for more details. All right, well, I have what I think is set up for automatic updates. I am, I believe, connected to my local Wi-Fi, so I should be ready to go to receive updates. But I'm unable, through this screen here, to tell what the current revision is. As you know from your cell phone, having version 14.1 or 14.4 may be critical to the operation of your cell phone. I can make the assumption that knowing the software revision might just be handy to have, so I can make sure that I have the latest and greatest bug fixes and or features. All right, so now, what do I do? I'm in setting, I'm in system updates, and I have no idea when this was updated last. I'm not sure if it was updated over Wi-Fi or over the air. I'm told that Ford has OTA or over-the-air updates. I have no knowledge of that. I may be looking in the wrong place. So let me look around here a little bit. Let's look in connectivity. Now, connectivity has to do with Bluetooth, talks to your phone, connected vehicle features. Let's look over here. There they are. Okay, vehicle connectivity. I'm connected, privacy settings, blah, blah, and lots of stuff. All right, that's cool. Let's go back out of there. We have Bluetooth. We have wireless app uh, projection. 
I'm assuming uh, I can project something from my phone, which doesn't, oops, that doesn't necessarily get me where I need to go. If I look down here at the bottom, uh, there is uh, manage Wi-Fi networks. Uh, I am on Wi-Fi. I am not sure if it knows what Wi-Fi. Oops. I believe I'm hooked up correctly. I got Wi-Fi notification turned on here, which is this uh, bottom deal. Um, <laughs> Uh, I believe I'm hooked to Wi-Fi. I've got a little deal up here at the top that indicates uh, a little Wi-Fi symbol. I'm assuming that's where I'm hooked to. Um, but it does indicate that I was hooked up. So let's see if we can back up out of this some of this stuff. All right. Well, there's no software revisions there. Let's see. Voice control, ambient light, departure, comfort, mobile apps, uh, a bunch of different stuff here. How about under general? Would it tell me there uh, about sync? All right. Well, there is uh, revision there, 243. Uh, I don't think sync is the main firmware or software that runs the car. Here's something about software licenses. Well, it wants me to go to a website. I'm pretty sure that's not what I need. Okay, touchscreen, beep, intelligent suggestions. Yeah, I could use some intelligent suggestions about now. Tire pressures, measurements. Okay, well, I don't think it's here. Let's look under vehicle. It's thinking. All right. Okay, there's all kinds of goodies here. My key, onboard uh, serial number. I don't know if I need that. Alarm, remote startup, windows, uh, wipers, lighting, locks, mirrors, door keypad code, mobility kit, um, backup start passcode, show brake coach, okay. Uh, low battery, uh, EV driving history, emergency tow is what it says there. And down below here it says speedometer in uh, kilometers per hour. Okay. All right. Well, that doesn't appear to show me anything. Driver assistance? No, I don't think it would be there. Let's see. Speed, lane keeping, rear, blind spot, driver alert, uh, auto hold, traction control. Nope. Okay. Let's look under personal profiles. Now, uh, there's my profile. Uh, that's uh, all my stuff. Uh, gives me uh, um, what's going on. The other person running the car here was Kyle Connor, but I'm pretty sure that's not going to tell us anything. I don't need the charge, phoneless, sounds, audio, voice control, ambient lights. Well, I've scanned the manual, by the way, and the manual resulted in uh, no indication where I might find the current upgraded software. Um, just like to know. So we got mobile apps. I'm pretty sure that's not going to tell us a whole lot. I don't know what wireless mobile app projection is. Ford Pass app, Glimpse Wise now. Departure control, maybe? No. That's not it. Certainly not 911. Not voice control and not ambient lights. All right, so let's look back over here under the control. Uh, we have drive modes, parking, access. Maybe something's there. Uh, charge port light. No. Driver assistance here, maybe. Nope. And certainly not in valet mode. Okay, well, I guess I missed it. I cannot find the current software update, uh, date, and or revision or version number of the car software. So I'm unable to tell if, first of all, if I've even received an update, even though it says it's up to date. 
okay? I can't tell if it's up to date. There's no reference version or revision number. There's no date. And so I've owned this car since March of 2021. And to my knowledge, uh, the same features and functions are still operating in the car. And I am unable to either verify that I've received an update in this or not. So let's try one other thing here. We're going to go to navigation. In poking around in navigation, trying to figure out what's going on with it, I found this little icon here. It looks like a screwdriver and a double-ended box wrench. So I opened this up here and it says uh, all kinds of stuff. And what I found here was, uh, which one was it? Trip overview, route, parking, maybe settings. Okay, so this is apparently a different settings than uh, the other settings. Uh, where did I find it? Was it under about? Um, no. User data. Manage. System information. Yeah, this is where I found it. Uh, under system information. Yeah, there it is. So this is the only version I could find at all. Now, um, is this navigation? This is the navigation version. Is this the car version? 1.37.68 or 12600.2 or 1260 I'm assuming since it says navigation version, that's exactly what it is. But software version. Now, I'm an embedded software and hardware engineer, and uh, I don't know what that means. I'm sure there's probably 40 computers in this car. Is this the car software? I uh, couldn't tell you. Uh, it says uh, machine ID, but there's no ID. Uh, it doesn't say what language, and it says unit one. Uh, again, I don't know what all that means. All right, well... If this is the car software version, then I found it. I have no idea when it was updated, if it is. So that's the best I can tell it see if my car is updated. For fun, I got on Twitter and queried some of the Mach-E folks, because they're probably smarter than I am, uh, un unable to uh, find where the software revision is and or if it exists. Uh, I was unable to find anything on Twitter either. So there you go. Uh, Ford, if you're watching, I'm sure you are. How about posting when you update the firmware and or software and a date and a revision number would be super helpful for us Mach-E owners to make sure that we have the latest and greatest stuff in our car. All right, so let's now run over to the Model Y and set up and see if we can find the current revision in the Model Y. I am sitting in the Tesla Model Y. Let's have a look to see what our current version of software is. You go into the uh, settings, which is this car icon here. You then scroll down and look. There's a software. You click it here. I can then scroll here. And uh, I can see our current revision here, which happens to be 2021.4.18.2. I can look at the release notes by looking at this. The release notes show all past updates in software. They come in over the air uh, through the local Wi-Fi, and I then receive them. I get notification on my Tesla app. I get notification in the car by having a little download symbol that allows me to determine if there is a pending download. When I hook up to Wi-Fi, I can actually download that software into the car. Software is not downloaded over the cellular network because the files could be two gigabytes long. It's way too much for downloading over the air. It's only downloaded when I'm connected to the local Wi-Fi within range of my car. In my case, I have Wi-Fi here in the garage. When I park the car, the car automatically hooks up to the Wi-Fi, checks to see if I have the latest software, and then downloads it and then asks me when I want to install it. So let's have a look at some previous software updates. As you see, they're indicated by their software revision number, 2021.4.18.2. That's our current revision. 
it indicates that there were minor bug fixes. Also here on 4.12, there was some cold weather improvements and additional bug fixes. Uh, in uh, 48.25 here, uh, we had some improvements in release notes, and I think they changed the format. Uh, we also got three new games. As you know, in a Tesla, you can play games right here on the screen uh, while you're waiting for somebody in a store or whatever. Driving visualization improvements, scheduled departure improvements, supercharger display improvements, and additional on vehicle information. Uh, and so on and so forth. It goes on and on and on. Bug fixes are not the only thing Tesla downloads. They download new functionality in the form of these three games. My 2018 Model 3 Tesla Performance received 50 horsepower through one of these software updates. You can't go wrong with that. So I can tell what was in each one of the software updates and I can tell the revision. The current revision, get back to that screen, is also indicated here. Uh, what's very cool here, it says your car software is up to date as of June 12th at 4.12 p.m. I can tell the navigation revision. It's handy to know and I'm maps and things are up to date. And then the car version 10.2, 2021.4.18.2. And that is updated. This little function right here in the Tesla is really cool. I can set it to standard. I can set it to advanced. Let's say you don't really want to have the latest and greatest software. You only want the major software updates. You leave that in standard. If you like new software and you're anxious to try new features and functionality in the Tesla, leave it to advanced. You will get all kinds of small bug fixes and things along the way. It's really handy. So if the question is asked, do I know when and what my version of software is here in the Tesla? The answer is absolutely, and it's easy to access. So let's talk a little bit about car software updates. I own the Ford Mustang Mach-E. It is the Grabber Blue Premium First Edition car. I received it in March of 2021. It's really, really a new car. To my knowledge, uh, as you saw, I don't think I've either received an update or I did. I have no way of telling. There's no indication if and or when I received any kind of updates. All I get is something on the screen that says I'm up to date. Well, I may have been up to date back in March. I don't know. Uh, it's no way for me to tell. I think it's really, really important, Ford, that you include the software date and revision number so the customers will know exactly what's going on. I want it because I want to make sure that I have the latest and greatest safety features in my car. Without having the knowledge of software revision and or date, there may be a new one that I've heard about that fixes a given problem. I want to know that my car is totally up to date and has all those safety features included in it. I think that's very important. If you like this video, go ahead and click the like, click subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to not miss anything going forward. If you'd like to buy yourself a Tesla, the referral link shown at the bottom of the screen gets you 1,000 miles or 1,500 kilometers of free supercharging when you order your car. Thank you for watching. I'll look for you again and take care.